This metal detector is kicking. Yeah, I borrowed it from my grandpa. Sam, we got something. Oh, great. Another tin can. Wouldn't it be cool to find some silver coins or a gold crown? Yeah. But you know, there are lots of other precious metals out there, too. Like? Check out the periodic table sometime. You'll find them all right there. Periodic what? Okay, so you know what elements are, right? Elements. They're the basic substances on Earth. The ones that can't be broken down into simpler ones, right? Exactly. Nature's tiny building blocks. Everything in the world's made from them. The periodic table is a chart that shows every single element scientists have discovered, including metals, nonmetals, gases, and even some elements scientists have created. Whoa, there sure are a lot of metals. Yup, metals make up almost 75% of the elements. Some are pretty common, like iron, copper, and gold, and others, like cerium and thulium, are really rare. Wait a minute, AU is gold? Crazy, huh? It's scientist shorthand. There's a symbol for every element name. AU's from aurum, which means gold in Latin. Turns out lots of the symbols on the chart are from Latin or Greek. Hey, what do the numbers mean? They're called atomic numbers. They tell how many protons are in the nucleus of each element's atoms. So copper has 29 protons and gold has 79? Exactly. Each element is different, but elements also share qualities. Do metals? Sure thing. All metals conduct heat and electricity. That helps metal detectors find them. Wild! And metals are alike in other ways, too. They're usually hard and shiny, and they can be melted and formed into different shapes. Think bridges, tools, car parts. Yeah, and Zoe's jewelry. <laughs> so, is that why metals are grouped together on the periodic chart? Right. They're grouped together because they share lots of similar qualities. That way, scientists can get tons of info with a quick glance. In fact, the chart also uses a colored key to cue them into which elements are solids, liquids, or gases at room temperature. For instance, you can see that helium, like you'd use in a balloon, is a gas. Silver, like you'd find in a ring, is a solid. And mercury is a liquid at room temperature. Mercury is what you sometimes find in thermometers. Sam, how come good old H2O's not on the liquid list? Isn't water an element? Nope, it's a compound. That means it's made with more than one element. What do you think H2O stands for? Uh, water? Well, two atoms of hydrogen and one atom of oxygen. Scientists use equations like this to show which elements are in each compound. H2O. Got it, coach. There's so much I didn't know about the periodic table. How it shows the elements in an organized way and groups elements with similar qualities together. Makes it pretty easy for scientists to know which elements are metals and which ones are non-metals, and which are solids, liquids, and gases. Scientists can check out an element's atomic number to see how many protons are in its atom's nucleus, and use the element symbols to show which elements are in a compound. Man, this periodic table helps scientists find out all the info they need in a flash. You said it, pal. And speaking of finding... Okay, big treasure, big treasure. Oh man!